Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well today. I wanted to make some airmail envelopes today uh, to show you how to make them. And I got these stamps. Uh, where is it? I showed you in one of the videos I got these stamps, but they have this cool stamp here that you can stamp on the side of the envelope with a red, blue, red, blue. So I wanted to do that. Um, so I'm gonna make one of each of these three colors of paper. I'm going to make my own envelopes as I always do. I always use the envelope punch board to make my envelopes but you don't have to. You can use whatever you want or you can have uh, use envelopes you already have. And This is just what I'm doing. You can make them however you want or you can do whatever you want. I just wanted to let you know that you do not have to have an envelope punch board to do this. I just like using this because it's fast and easy and you can make them any size you want. I just wanted to let you know that. I'm going to make three different sizes or maybe two different sizes. You know, I'm going to make a four and a half by six and then a three and a half by six and a half because I want one to be kind of long and skinny like the envelopes you get in the mail. I can only do ones that I can do with the eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So that's why I'm looking oh, so three by seven and a half. Oh, that's like really long and skinny. Three by six. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna make two different sizes. I'm gonna make one that's uh, three and a half by six and a half, and then one that's uh, four and a half by six. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my paper and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I got two of them. Um, I didn't want to do that all online. I mean on camera. I did two of them and I was going to do this one with you online. Online. On camera. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this one, like I said, is three and a half by six and a half. So I need eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter piece of paper, which is what this is. I tore it here. It's vintage, so. <laughs> um, so I need to put it at three and one eighth. Put it at the score line right here. Punch and score. Hmm. Okay. And I think, well, yeah, that's gonna have to be the inside. <laughs> Around the corner on this one. Get my other one then. <laughs> I think it's because the corner was bent. Oh well, I said it's supposed to be vintage, right? <laughs> so we want this one to look like runged up. Okay, and then you fold the ends, the ends in. And this is just a piece of coffee dyed paper that I did a while ago. And I like to cut off this piece here because I don't like that being like that. And you just take your ruler and cut it off. Okay, it's a little smaller than I thought, but that's okay. <laughs> See, the only thing I don't like is why is it so, like, yeah, the, <laughs> so long. I think that'll help much. We just glue down the edges right here. Okay, so I tried to do these two first off camera to kind of practice, and yeah, it's they didn't come out perfect, which is okay. But at first, I was using these. And that's what this one is, and it's hard to get you know the ink pad on each one without touching the other one <laughs> with this. So I switched to these um, brush markers that I got from Tuesday morning. And so that's what this one is. So it looks a little better. It's like the corners are difficult to get. It says, well it doesn't say, I just figured out that you're supposed to use it with this one here, which is like the angled one first on either when you're going down or that way. And then when you're doing this one going this way, you do it with this one which is like the one with the flat edge and then the angle. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, this one still didn't come out very good and neither did that one. Actually, the only one that did come out is that one and it's still, it's a mess, but you know, like I said, that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this one with you on camera. Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to go by a image I saw on, well, the stamps where the stamps came from. They had an envelope and I'll 
put a picture up trying to get it like that, but it's not working out very well. <laughs> like I said, it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? So I just do the blue first. And then I go in with the red. Okay. It's almost a little longer. Didn't go all the way to the end. Okay, I need the red. Your envelopes are a different size than the ones you were practicing on. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and decorate them. I just stamped a Berlin stamp on there that I was talking about. I, was, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. <laughs> but I was talking about these stamps. So I'll link these down below. These are awesome. I love them. They're huge. <laughs> like that one there, I was going to put on that one, but it's just too big. And then this, this one here, too. Just too big. But yeah, these stamps are awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one, the airmail stamp. And I'm just using my normal stays on and timber brown. I wanted to put there's another airmail. <laughs> I wanted to put express. And put that on the back. Uh, let's put it in put it in red. Uh, there was something I was saw earlier that I wanted to put on here. It's certified. That's all crooked. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just stamping now. I think this is cool. I always see these envelopes everywhere. I wanted to make my own. They look good on camera, so hopefully they don't look too bad for you guys. <laughs> like this one here is like messed up. Let's put the two from, oh yeah, and then they got the dots down in that corner. Try to do that in blue. I need to get some better inks like these ones. Just need something down in this corner and then I'll be done. I'm not sure if I should put anything else on the back. That one in black. It smeared a little bit because the thing popped up. The flap <laughs> popped up. Okay, I need something in that corner. Urgent. Let's put urgent. I think that's enough for that one. Let's see. I'm not gonna do all of them on camera. I did that blue big one on that one. And I put the airmail on that one. So let's put this airmail. I'm gonna do this one in black. So let's cover that up. Let's put it over. Yeah, let's put it like that. Ooh, wow, that's dark. <laughs> Let's see, so where should this one come from? That one's from Germany. This one, there's Paris, London, Barcelona, Bridger Bridgeport, Connecticut. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say Spain on this one. Ooh, that one's black as dark. Let me do the blue marker though. I don't like that ink pad. Maybe I should have did it in red. I keep getting blue marker all over my hands. <laughs> I think I want to do another postcard one with these because like do a oversized or really big postcards or something and put this one and just make them like big. Let's see, I need something there. Let's see, let's do approved. I'll do this one in red though. This one's not as bad, but I need to get some new ink. <laughs> that one right there. Yep, I like it, I like it. I think that's it for that one, I think that's enough. Um, put something on the back. Um, let's see. Do that one in red again. I like that. I should have went to Michael's and got those um, little mini distress ink pads that they have. They have the ones in the, um, I think it's, I know there's a blue, a red. I forgot what it was called. Yeah, I like that. This one's Spanish. What else can we put? Anything else Spanish? Can add. Okay, here they are all done. I did this one off camera so that I wouldn't uh, make the video too long and I wouldn't bore you because you already saw me stamp these ones. But yeah, I like them. They're cute. 
These two are definitely my favorite. This one is okay. It's just a little busy. I think I put too many stamps on it. And this one, I don't know. Yeah, it's just weird. I like this one because it's Barcelona. <laughs> and then Spanish. And then this one is German, which is... I'm part German, so I actually didn't do that on purpose though. But yeah, so I like them. And this was fun. I see these all over YouTube with people putting them in their journals and stuff. So um, you can put a cute little letter in there for somebody. Or you can just or put some ephemera and I will post these stamps down below they are both available on Amazon right now uh, the other one not this one but the other one is actually available on Prime right now yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you give this a shot let me know um, what you think and I had fun doing this I wanted to bring you along with me to make these and okay you guys I'm back real quick um, I just realized I forgot to ink the envelopes and make them look even more vintage, especially the white one. I kept looking at it, I was like, it's so white. <laughs> so yeah, I forgot to ink. It's supposed to be vintage. They're not supposed to be white anymore. <laughs> I don't know if you guys ever do this um, with your ink. I always take it and like put a little bit on my mat like that and then just rub it in it and it gives it that like kind of rusty look on it, especially on the white one. I did it on this one too. Looks pretty cool. I didn't do it on there. Let me do it on there. The tea dye one looks cool. Let me just take it and rub it in there. Eh, that one looks like fingerprints. <laughs> That's okay. But yeah, I like this one. I think this is my favorite now. This one. This one's pretty cool too. I still think I need to stamp something on this one on the back because all I did was stamp on that. I don't feel like getting the stamps back out because I already put them away. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to add that in real quick. Hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, pushing 200, you guys. I'm at 196. Tell your friends and um, just share my videos if you could. I'd appreciate it. Um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. And by the time this one comes out, I might have hit 200 because this is probably going to be out in a couple weeks so I already have other videos filmed before this one so I might have already hit 200 by then or hopefully maybe more <laughs> but yeah so I will see you in the next video okay bye guys